Guys, we got quite a lot of spoilers in hand. We have some details about how Goku vs Jiren will go down in the one hour special episode. We have additional episode 107 spoilers and idea about who will get eliminated or who will not get eliminated. So let's get right to it. Dragon Ball Super Episode 107, Universe 7 is the target, furious attack of Universe 6, Frost. Universe 7 starts feeling a bit nervous since Krillin and Tien were eliminated and now Frost goes after Master Roshi and Vegeta. Fight with Ribrian resumes. Goku tries to help his teammates who are getting attacked by Frost, but Ribrian of Universe 2 stands in his way. So the new information we got from here that was not in the preview is Vegeta will also be fighting Frost and that is what might end up saving Roshi. So let's move on. Promotional poster, Goku takes part in the tournament as a representative of Universe 7 alongside his 9 other teammates which includes his former enemy Frieza who has been resurrected. Krillin and Tien were eliminated so Universe 7 has 8 remaining fighters and so does Universe 6. 32 fighters in total remain in the tournament as all universes are planning their next move. God of Destruction Beerus notices something weird about the number of fighters in Universe 4. This was from the promotional poster of the 1 hour special and it says Universe 7 has 8 fighters left. So if this is indeed accurate, it would mean no one is getting eliminated in episode 107 and 108. For those of you who are worried about Vegeta getting eliminated next due to the ending theme song theory, this comes both as a good news and a bad news. Because from episode 107 preview, it looked like Roshi was about to get out of the game after using Mafuba on Frost. It looked like he was being totally dominated by him. So if he got eliminated, it would break the theory. Him surviving lengthens the suspense. Besides, if Roshi were to be eliminated, I don't see why they didn't do it the episode where he was about to die. Or if not, at the very least, they will do it in the next episode. Since he is surviving, this could mean he will be here for a while, sending a loud and clear message across the fandom that Roshi is back in the game for real. Also about the Beerus part, it's probably about those two almost invisible bug fighters of Universe 4, which you likely didn't notice before and suddenly it changes where you first stood. Now coming to the most interesting part, Scan. Who's gonna survive? The existence of universe is at risk. Goku's great battle against the strongest warrior, a one hour special where you can watch two episodes back to back. Jiren the strongest warrior stands in front of Goku. Even Goku's Kaioken times 20 stands no chance against him. That's why Goku unleashes his trump card. All translation courtesy goes to Kenzairo and the scans are from Yonko Prod. Okay, even though it doesn't mention Kaioken over SSB, simply because Juran is that strong, I'm assuming it's indeed Kaioken times 20 over SSB. Otherwise, the way it has been worded is dumb. So, this is gonna be the most powerful we have ever seen Goku in DBS because last time against Hit, it was only Kaioken times 10. He has doubled it this time, meaning he will get intense power, but the problem being, the backlash will be doubled too. Last time after using Kaioken, his body got wrecked and thus he lost to Hit by forfeiting. But honestly, he couldn't continue at that state even if he wanted to. So using Kaioken times 20 and failing could be a game loss for Goku since there are other fighters to deal with. I think this is where Vegeta might step in and give Goku some time to figure what he can do. But it mentions this is when Goku will use his trump card and turn the tables. Meaning this is probably when we will first get to see in series look at Goku's new transformation which is currently being called the limit breaker form by the fans. Knowing the scenario, it makes me wonder if this transformation is an advanced form of the mastered Super Saiyan Blue form as shown in the manga. Maybe that's why we don't see blue or red aura or Goku's hair having any color from that aura because as he is running out of energy to make full utilization of every bit, he found a way to absorb all of it in his body and unleash maximum power. 
I'll make a separate video discussing, so comment your opinion about it and we might feature your comment in our next video.